Hello everyone, Bender here, and welcome back to more Paper Mario The Origami King. In the previous episode, we 100%ed every single place so far, except obviously for Toad Town. Including the Great Sea, in which we, well, used the Great Vessel in order to collect all of the treasure at the ocean floor. And now that we have all of the, th uh, all of the three, <laughs> now that we have all three power orbs in our collection, it is, it is time to use them and open the Great Sea Tower. Let's go ahead and use the Power Orb, the Wisdom Orb, and the Courage Orb in order to open this mystical place. Oh, what's a door? That seems pretty obvious in hindsight. Let's head inside. I can't wait to uh, to get to the top, assuming it doesn't just go on forever. All right, now from what I remember, this place is like not even that long, and I'm just gonna be able to potentially even get to the uh, to the boss in this episode because it's actually very very easy to defeat, believe it or not. So let's continue. I only remember that it's easy, but I don't remember what exactly it is for some weird reason. <laughs> All right. Uh, one thing I completely forgot is to, well, check if there are any uh, hidden blocks. Give me one second. All right, apparently there's only five. I do not exactly remember. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> I don't exactly remember if some of them are hidden, some of them are not. Oh, well, we'll just have to wait and see. All right, so the tip to do this is that we can potentially... Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh, careful. Um, let me go ahead and check. Okay, so do this one. Go right. oh, oh, close, close, all right. Do this, and as I am right here, let's just go ahead and do this final one and go to the main platform. All right, it looks like I'm gonna have to take care uh, of some battles because I don't have a lot of uh, a lot of uh, confetti. Oh, what's happened to the Earth Elemental's face? It's split into two for some reason. That must have hurt. The Water Elemental only has one eye, or maybe it's winking at us, or it's also mysterious. All right, uh, let me see if I kill this Koopa. It's really not going to give us any confetti whatsoever. Um, what if I do this? Nothing at all, right? So hopefully I don't waste like a lot of confetti doing this. All right. So if you get near the blue crab, it is going to steal another orb. Or like part of the, you know, what the dragon is holding, as you can see. Right, so we need one more confetti bunch. And yeah, my bag is really not gonna look, uh, you know, healthy at all. All right, we do this. One more is gonna do it. Very good. Even though I don't have a lot of confetti anymore, this is going to be block number one, giving us a shiny tail. And obviously, at the left of the temple, you can see yet another block, giving us a power block. All right, so those are two of the three. Let me see. Um. I'll try... Okay, I'll take care of this battle to get some more confetti. Alright, is that gonna give me enough? Eh. I mean, it's something. It, it's really nothing. God damn it. Alright, so what's gonna happen is that first we need to fix this hole. And that is going to, well, help us get through... Oh, is it not? Oh, well. Uh, let me see. Just go ahead and get rid of this Koopa right over here. And we have yet another hole that we could potentially fix to hopefully get this thing moving once again. Uh, okay, there we go. All right, uh, let me just go ahead and see what we can do other than getting through the obvious, um, you know, place with a crab, right? So let me see, we get this, we get that, some HP, and then we go over this one. Very good, very quick. Quick and easy. Oh, that's why it wasn't doing anything. Okay, I get it. Right, we do this, and now we can actually do it. So it was actually mandatory to do it this way. <laughs> oh, well. Right, we try to do this, the crab is going to run away from us once again, and that's really not too polite. <laughs> Alright, let me see, we have another one of these. Um, let me see, let me see. Is there anything special that I can do with this one, or is it j like, just luck? Mm, oh, I remember, I remember, okay. I think first you need to do this, if you hit the wall, it is just basically going to cover the entrances, and then gonna go and do the same to these ones around here wait oh no no it's this one because the uh, the mouth is closed so if we do this we're gonna take care of one more battle and with that we have what is it the red gem all right pretty generic oh well 
Okay, we're gonna get a ton of confetti actually, which is going to put the bag right just below the green level, which is going to make things way, way better. Alright, so if we continue on and if we return to the main part of the temple, let's see what putting this gem into the Water Valley Mental statue is going to do for us. We interact with it, we give it the gem to cheer it up. And I think it is going to open the mouth with the red eye, obviously. And then by activating this little like vessel containing water, the Earth Value Mental is going to come back to form. Very good. So this is going to be a combination of all of the Value Mental temples that we have seen so far. So that's very nice. One thing I forgot though, it's the Earth Value Mental Cave, the Water Value Mental Shrine, the... What is it? The um, what is the next one? The fire value mental. I forgot the volcano cave. No, it's not the cave because that's the earth value mental. I'll just have to check later. And then the ice value mental mountain. So all of them have. Uh, okay, uh, I'm I'm actually really curious about it. Oh, what is this? W whoa! Why are there toads stuck in the side of the tower? I don't see anything holding them against the wall. How are they staying up? Hmm. On a closer look, these toads seem to be strapped on the wall with some kind of tape. Hmm, for toads. They're stuck in such unflattering positions, it would be so it would be so embarrassed. I'm actually pretty curious. Like, what is the name? Let me see, of the um, uh, what is it? The Fire Valumental The Cave. So the Oh no, ah, because it's a temple, right? Aha, so we have Temple, Shrine, Cave, and Mountain. Very good. Ah, very, very creative. I would not have thought about those things myself. Alright, so then, right around here, we have yet another one of these, like, little challenges we have to overcome. Staring contest between the value mentals. Who's gonna win? And bet my coins on the ice value mental. Its fangs are so intimidating. Alright, so we do this in order to progress further. I wonder what would be the minimum percent to complete this game, like, do as little as possible. Alright, so do this without getting into any battles. Ooh, careful! Nice, alright, alright, get some confetti back. Um, not a lot though. <laughs> oh well. Okay, am I gonna be able to beat these guy? Very nice, okay, do this. Oh, god damn it. Alright, is this at least going to give me a lot of confetti? Eh, not a lot, but it's still a pretty good amount. <laughs> at least for the things that I... Uh, I mean, that I had. Right, this is yet another uh, block, and I think we're only missing one, which is, I believe, next to that? No, it's not. Oh, well. Right, if you try to hit this with your hammer, what's going to happen is just going to do like a boop, like a super small flame. So, what we need to do is, uh, well, do something in order to release that ball and, well, push the button way harder. Oh, well. I hate ice physics so much in games. Why do people f Oh, careful. Why do people even program this into the game? <laughs> oh well. Alright, so let's see, fill this one, and it looks like we're gonna have to do one of these puzzles that we did in the Ice Value Mental Cave. First of all, I'm gonna enter uh, over here and see that there is a big, big hole that we could potentially fill. Three. Uh, very good. Okay, so just three. Some of them look super huge compared to the amount of confetti that you need to spend in order to fill them. So let me see, what is going to be the puzzle this time around? Right, so first one, obviously, I think we need to do this. Ah, I think this is the place where I need to clear some of the holes. In, uh, I mean, to break some of the ice in order to, like, get all of the holes in here. So if I get into a random battle, I'll just, like, cut it and then continue. Okay, so I'm gonna do this first of all. Okay, get in here in the corner. Careful, careful. So we have two as well as a shiny fire flower. Very good. I get a lot of items, but I, I I honestly don't even use them, like, at all. <laughs> okay, do this, and let me just go ahead and grab all of the confetti that we left around here. And this should be enough to fill hole number one. Hole number two. Then we're gonna go north, and we're obviously going to fill hole number three, if I don't fall in, uh, through it. God damn it! And, as we do that, well, I mean, at least that gave me, like, a ton of confetti. Alright, I, I don't think I'm gonna have any more troubles with, uh, with that. Alright, so, that was hole number three that we filled. This one is gonna be hole number four. This one... Hello? I can't go... I can't go up there? Why? 
uh, let me see. Aha, so we need to uh, continue with this like uh, little puzzle in, or in order to fill everything. So let me just go ahead and head into this cave, reset the puzzle, and then obviously continue on. Alright, 14 minute episode. I think I'm going to have just enough time to get to the top of the mountain, and then that's going to be pretty much it. Right, so what do we do here? Um, let me try this and this. I don't think this is it, is it? This. Nah, I already fucked up. Uh, okay, try to go around here. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, damn it. What do I need to do? Ah, nice! Okay, so at least I got to, to clear this hole. Uh, let me see if I... Hit? Oh, no, actually, yeah, this is where I need to go. I thought I needed to go, like, up the, like, little slope. Right? And with this, we fill this uh, leftover hole. And that's gonna be it for this little puzzle area. So, if we hit the platform with our hammer in this angle, we are going to fill this hole, which is going to open the way to yet another place. Right. Oh, no, another one of these puzzles. God damn it. Uh, let's see. I don't think my memory is gonna be good enough for this. You guys remember my memory is d -d -d terrible. Oh no. Yep. Nah, I I already forgot it. I already forgot it. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, boom. Fuck. All right, all right. Um, yeah, not really good. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. What the fuck is that? I already forgot about it. One, two, three, four. This one? Uh, this one? This one? Again. Oh! Hey, got it! <laughs> nice! Alright, my memory isn't that bad after all. With that block, we get 100% of the blocks hit, yet uh, at the Great C, and not the 100% uh, holes quite yet. Alright, no problem, no problem. That is going to give us access to a magic circle. We're gonna pull on this ball, I mean, pull on the rope, which is going to free the ball, and that is going to push the button harder, or hard enough, for it to melt the ice of Elemental's teeth. Nice Valley Mental was uh, grinning, but I couldn't bear it. The Fire Valley Mental wins this one. Yes, Olivia was correct. Right, and if we continue along these stairs, there is going to be a safe block, as you can pretty much know why. Uh, let's see, I am just going to do it just in case. Who knows what's going to happen. Then get this. Let's see, is there anything in here? No, there's nothing. Uh, other than that, let's see... Do I get something here other than confetti? It doesn't look like that's the case. Oh well. Right, we enter this place, or actually exit the, the, you know, the tower, and we will see yet another bottomless hole, and I think this is going to be the last one. And maybe we get 100%. Alright, so let's see. We can completely avoid the Hammer Brother, and we'll continue on with the Great Tower. Oh no. God damn it, another one of these. Alright, <laughs> nice, cleared it. I really don't want to, like, take part in any battles. Alright, this save block pretty much tells you what you need to know. So, you guys have a great day, take care of yourselves, and in the next one, we will go, hopefully, to the top of the Great Sea Tower, and see what challenge awaits us. Have a great day, and I'll see you then.